right now I'd like to introduce you to some very special guests. I'd like to introduce you to Ashley Holmes, her husband Elvin, and her son Ty, uh, who are a local family from right up the road in Lacombe. And they have first-hand experience with what Ronald McDonald House means uh, for them and for a sick child. So we'd like to introduce and bring you up here. At the age of 23, my life seemed to be going as planned and nearly perfect. My husband, Eldon, and I had two children, a three-year-old boy, Ty, and an 18-month-old daughter, Zoe. We lived a fairly normal life. I stayed home with the kids and my husband worked. That all changed when our daughter Zoe became ill and in a very short time paralyzed. After seeking medical attention, we decided to take her to the Alberta Children's Hospital to get some much needed answers. 72 hours after arriving in the emergency room and after going from test to test, they discovered what was wrong. May 27, 2008, our daughter was diagnosed with stage four malignant germ cell yolk sac tumors. This type of cancer is fairly uncommon and usually attacks the spine, brain, and lungs. Zoe, at the time of diagnosis, had a large tumor at the base of her spine, which was creating the paralysis in her legs, as well as a smaller tumor in her chest cavity. After hearing the news, every emotion rushed through our bodies. And as our lives seemed to be spiraling out of control, Ronald McDonald House Southern Alberta was there for us. They provided a room for us to live in, a place for us to cook, and honestly, a place to call home. But what they didn't know is that they provided us with the best gift of all, true friends. Like the majority of families in the house, we became single parents, not by choice, but because our husbands had to return home to work in order to keep our own households going. When we were out of the hospital and at the house, Zoe's immune system was so weak we were unable to go to any public location for fear of her getting sick. This meant a trip to the grocery store or drugstore was generally not possible. The house was great. There was always somebody going to the store that could pick up a few goods for everyone else. Sometimes it would be a father that came for a visit or a family that didn't have an immune suppressed child. Zoe was on high doses of steroids as well as chemotherapy, which when put together makes him crave, unu crave unusual food items. Zoe only really craved two things, bologna and bacon. The first being Schneider's all beef bologna. She ate it constantly throughout her treatment. She quickly became known for her love of bologna, and she wasn't always the friendliest kid. So other families would try to buy her friendship with pieces of Schneider's bologna or bacon. Living at the house quickly became a new lifestyle. The reality is, every family in the house really doesn't want to be there, but they, but they choose to because there is really no alternative. Children that are diagnosed with certain types of cancer and depending on their treatment have to stay within 20 kilometers of the hospital. Dallas left us little choice but to live at Ronald McDonald House. In the 308 days that our family had a room there, we experienced almost everything. Our daughter lost her hair, regained the ability to crawl, stand, and eventually take a few steps. The house was great for our family. It brought a sense of normalcy in an abnormal situation. The families in the house became so close, regardless of the many different cultures, religions, and lifestyles. But at the end of the day, we all understood what everybody was going through, which is extremely hard to find outside of the house. It is unimaginable how hard it is to watch your child get chemo, blood and platelet transfusions, go for surgery, or just wait for the life-altering results from the doctor. In the time our family was at the house, we met children who had defied all odds. Kids that were given no hope walk out the front door. Those moments are so inspirational. They remind families that no matter what anybody says, there is always hope which nobody can take away. However, the hardest thing to do in the house is to say goodbye to a child as they leave this earth and go to heaven. Zoe's cancer was resilient and kept adapting to the chemo. She relapsed three times in the 10 months following her diagnosis. In total, her little body went through three pro protocols of treatment, which included nine different types of chemotherapies, three rural react surgeries, one major surgery to remove her tailbone, and two stem cell transplants, but the, before the tumor regrew and there was unfortunately nothing left that the medical world had left to offer her. The day we got the news, she was giggling and laughing. It was hard to watch a happy child when in your mind you have to try and prepare for a parent's worst nightmare. We decided to tell the families from Ronald McDonald House first. We were amazed. Most of them came that weekend, bringing her gifts, support, and of course her usual baloney. Monday, March 30th, 2009, 48 hours after arriving home from her wish, after 311 days at the Children's Hospital, Zoe Lee Holmes' journey on earth ended. 
She was an amazing little girl who never let her paralysis defy her, never let the medical lifestyle alter her personality, and she fought a courageous battle, never complaining nor crying. She was incredibly strong, and for all of these and many more reasons, we could never have been more proud of our amazing little girl. She may have only had two and a half years on this earth with us, but she left a legacy behind her that continues to make people smile and laugh. At the celebration of life for Zoe, Eldon and I were standing in the parking lot of the chapel in a maze. The first people to show up were Ronald McDonald House staff and families that had stayed with us in the house. The only people who understood what we went through and truly knew how much we needed them at the worst time of our lives. She has been gone now for two years. We are glad that she got to spend the last part of her life at a place that loved her unconditionally and would have done anything for her and for us. Ronald McDonald House Southern Alberta provided our family with an amazing place to call home, a place where the abnormal becomes normal, and a place where amazing friendships and bonds are created. We were amazed of the generosity from the businesses as well as the citizens of Calgary and what they did for our family through Ronald McDonald House. The volunteers were incredible. They prepared amazing meals, parties for the families, financial support that allows the house to operate, and sometimes just a friendly face to talk to. The city of Calgary was so kind to our family and I know that the city of Red Deer will be no different. There are amazing businesses and people that live here and will welcome these families like Calgary had welcomed us. Thank you very much for your time and allowing us to share our daughter's journey. Your story is one of strength and courage and you've become so close to our, our volunteers and our, our staff at the house and we are so impressed with your willingness to share your story. Um, and thank you for doing that again today for us.